Those who do not answer the question, who do not know the answer, who forgot the answer, who are ghafla, Allah says, squeeze them. Tighten the grave around them. Open a window into the fire. Let them see where they're going. Allah, keep us from that, O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we ask you, O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to bless our mothers and fathers, O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I remind you, brothers and sisters, do not throw your parents away. Keep your parents with you. Allah has said, lower the wing of compassion upon your parents. When they get old, take care of them. Remember, they took care of you. Remember, they fed you. Remember, they changed your diapers. Remember, they took care of you when you were sick. Remember, they raised you up, fed you, sheltered you, clothed you. Don't do less than that for them. Bless our parents, O oh Allah. Bless all of our parents, O oh Allah, that they may feel contentment with their children, O oh Allah, and bless our children, O oh Allah, that they may be the source of coolness for our eyes, O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and ease for our hearts, O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that they may be inspired, O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to go for the best and to seek the best in this world, O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, many of our people are imprisoned, O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, throughout the world, O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask you, O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to make it a, in their hearts to understand that though people can lock you up, they cannot lock up your heart, and they cannot lock up your mind, and they cannot lock up your soul. So those of us who are in prisons, O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, throughout this world, O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, give them relief, O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we thank you, O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for the food in our stomachs, O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for the clothes on our backs, O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for the roofs above our heads, O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for the security of our lives in this place, O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But we are mindful, O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that you explained to us through your Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that this is one community. This is a, a small part of it in a certain part of the world. But there's over 1.6 billion of us throughout the world. The Republic of Consciousness, you might call it. And that when one part of that body hurts, all of us hurt at some level. And that we are thankful for those things, O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but we are mindful that there are many of our brothers and sisters who do not have food to eat. I'm thinking here specifically, especially in this time of the people of Somalia. That many of our brothers and sisters do not have the wherewithal to clothe themselves sufficiently. That worse than that, many of our brothers and sisters are living in insecurity, have no homes, or have homes that are subject to being invaded by obstreperous youth filled with testosterone who come in the middle of the night with the guns and put people up against the wall and scare the children, frighten the women, and do worse, and take away the men. That many of our brothers and sisters are living under occupation, living under the gun, living under the bullet, living under the bomb. That their old people are humiliated on a daily basis that their young men, especially, can find no work except pulling a trigger. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, those whose houses are torn down upon them, whose wells are poisoned, whose crops are destroyed, whose fruit trees are uprooted and whose animals are killed, O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who live daily this life of 
fear and occupation of Allah. In Gaza, in Palestine, in Chechnya, in East Turkmenistan, in the Philippines, in Kashmir, in Pakistan, in Afghanistan, in Iraq, in Yemen, in Bahrain, in Syria, in Libya, in Mali, in Mauritania, as we stand here and as you sit here, the people are living under those situations. We have not much we can do, but the Prophet ﷺ told us that the only thing that changes the Qadr of Allah, and this is surely the Qadr of Allah, is the Dua. That's why the Dua is so important. Yes, make Dua for yourselves. Make Dua for your families. Make Dua for your children. Make Dua for your community. But remember and never forget that this is a very large community. And many of our brothers and sisters are in need of your Dua. So make Dua for them. Ya Allah, Ya Kareem, Ya Mubin, Ya Arhamur Rahimin. Alhamdulillahi wa nahmaduhu wa nasta'inu wa nasta'gfiru wa nu'minu bihi wa nahtawakal alayh. Wa nashidu an la ilaha illallahu wa tuhu la sharika lah. Wa nashidu an Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Wa ala jami al anbiya'i wa mursaleen wa malaikati munkarabeen. Wa awliya Allah salihin wa mujahideen fadayeen bi rahmatika ya arhamur rahimin. قال الله سبحانه وتعالى في كتاب مبين إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد اللهم وارد عن ساداتنا الخلفاء الراشدين أبي بكر الصديق وعمر فروق وثمان دينورين وعلى سيدنا الإمام علي كرم الله وجه وعليه السلام وارد اللهم عن سيدنا الحسن وعن سيدنا الحسين وعن أمهما سيدات فاطمة الزهراء وعن آل البيت الكرام وعن أزواج نبيك طاهرة أمهات المؤمنين وعن صحابة صالحين وتبعين وتبعهم وإباد الله مكلسين بإسلام وإيمان وإحسان إلى يوم الدين عباد الله إن الله يأمر بأدل وإحسان وإتاد القرب وينهن الفشاء وممك وبقي يذكم لا لكم تذكرون وذكر الله أكبر وأكمل صلاة